Welcome to the Reality Revolution. I'm your host, Brian Scott. And today, we're going to discuss navigating dimensions and the portals and realms within. I remember back when I was in college the first time I did LSD and I had felt like I had entered into another dimension. I was not of this earth. I was not of this plane. I was in a different place. This changed my life. I became aware that we could enter different dimensions. And then later on through meditation, I would have these vivid experiences where I could see even more clearly than I could now. And there was a completely different sort of reality. Dimensions are more of a place when density is more of an aspect. Density is the amount of light and information that's available in a field. But I also believe we move through dimensions. And I wanted to share a little bit about what I know about exploring dimensions. When I go within and speak with my higher self, my higher self says that you have been given access to the outer realms, the higher realms, off-world energies, but no longer from out there, now rather from within. For this too was locked behind a portal that you had to open and now have access anytime you choose. It is this way for all things, for all you have to do is ask, then go inside to release anything that surfaces once you do. The human is given experiences to observe so that their human mind can truly understand. It is through this observation that one gains access to the forgotten land. It is up to you to choose to discover that which lays dormant and hidden inside for everything transcended or released further uncovers that which you choose to hide. There shall be more, if you will, as this journey never ends. It only expands further into the beyond each time you go within. You've always had access, yet your access is by way of your own vibrational frequency and portals that you unlock from within. Understand before we begin this discussion of dimensions that every thought is a memory it is either of the human existence or one of a time that you have yet remembered within when I started to understand this I started to understand the nature of dimensions all things all realms all existences all earths all universes all beings all exists inside activation of the frequency is yours in light. Navigating dimensions. The concept sounds so beyond comprehension, yet one is provided tools. It is so very simple, for it does not conform to the logical mind. True navigation comes from letting go of logic and coming to exist as your higher self again. It is as hard as you perceive it to be for the human mind is the block to this. Going beyond this is what we do. So let go of logic and allow yourself to imagine, feel, and believe as you listen to my voice. Expand your mind as far as you can. It is outside the human mind that this will all make sense. And it is here that we all truly exist. You open dimensions as you open your heart. Consciousness is the action you take through your heart. You navigate by being conscious at all times again. That is the simple explanation. A dimension is just a frequency and you exist in frequency. Everything, sound, color, matter, all just frequency. Some dense than others. The dimensional traveler is all of us in every moment. The only difference is how dense or how light one is. The dense matter human unconscious does not do this at will. The light matter human light body is a walking conscious energy that now walks in light in the physical and exists here in your time on your earth. This one does this at will and as love. Before you think it's not possible, consider the higher self. Have you ever communed or heard the voice of the higher self? If you've experienced that alone, then you know that this is possible because the higher self has to exist within a different dimension. So let's just state this together as an intention. I wish to hear, 
I wish to see. I wish to know. I wish to be. I wish to remember and be shown that which was hidden shall now be known. Are there separate dimensional realms? Can we separate them? For the sake of this episode, we shall separate dimensional realms where, in fact, there is no separation. Truly, the human needs to separate them in order to understand them. When one comes to exist in the higher dimensional realms, the lower realms no longer exist. For a time, they are still visible, yet have no bearing on existence anymore. Only when one operates at a lower frequency is this even a concern. The human mind compares and works from a place of separation. For the purpose of understanding, we shall compare in order to assist the human mind need to understand. The heart needs no such comparison, therefore, while some of this episode is delivered to the human mind, it is also delivered to assist one in shifting to their heart space at the same time. It is this journey by allowing the heart to lead. Until then, the human tries to maintain control, offering resistance instead of ease. Letting go is of the higher self being and is not the human way. The human will try to fit into one dimensional realm or another, yet exist in all realms at all times. There is no this realm or that realm. It is all simultaneous. The human separates them in order to understand. The more conscious one becomes, the more they come to exist in as all realms again. They see the illusion of the lower realms, so they just let them go, which is what causes them to dissolve and eventually no longer exist. This is because they existed within us all, and they no longer do. They will also no longer exist out there. You are the one who dictates this by that which you hold on to in the physical form from within. For the sake of simplifying, we shall speak in lower versus higher realms, or third, fourth, fifth dimensional realm comparison. If you are listening to this episode, you are no longer in the third dimension. You are a fourth or fifth dimensional being seeking to understand and navigate with greater ease. The first thing to do is to stop associating yourself as a third dimensional being. That is human and is a part of the suppression it creates. The third density, third dimensional being cannot recognize that they are third dimensional. The fourth dimensional being is awake and asleep all at the same time when you exist solely from your heart in present moment, consciously choosing without judgment, without compromise, without lack, and for the purpose of all, as one, you are fifth dimensional being. When you fall out of this and descend, you become a fourth dimensional being again, seeking to regain consciousness. Basically, fourth density is the complexity of light, but the fourth dimension is, I believe, a place that sort of exists between the third and fifth dimension. Everybody talks about going into 5D, but the fourth dimension is the unconscious aspect before it enters into the fifth dimension. You may exercise some third dimensional traits, yet those are just going. Do not shortchange yourself by trying to place yourself in that frequency again. That's human. Third and fourth dimensions have been merged. And if you're listening to this, you have awoken in some way, shape, or form, and shall find yourself in the middle realm or the space in between. The comparisons are to help you identify that which you may not recognize easily on your own. This can assist you in shifting back into your heart self, a place that is foreign until you learn to do this with much practice of your own. Some feel bipolar and all over the place. Others just seek to understand why things no longer make sense. Whatever you find, it is perfect for you. It is your chosen journey. Gaining tools of understanding for easier navigation shall assist you. You are curious enough to desire to understand more. More likely you have been working to exist from your heart, clear blocks, and let go of that which has limited or suppressed you thus far. This you should be commended for. This is not an easy journey. It takes heart, 
much desire for something different and activates a drive inside of you that you may or may not understand. The fourth dimensional aspect is one of continual release, activation, merging, and integration. The higher self works to expand from within and all things of the dense human aspect, reality are pushed up and out so that one can expand as the light that it truly is. This being works to remember whether conscious or not. Once the fourth density, fourth dimensional being truly remembers who it is, it begins to enter into that fifth dimension, fifth density. Once you become conscious, there is no going back. You may choose not to be conscious for periods of time, yet you will suffer more when you do. This cycle alone will cause you to desire not to be unconscious anymore. Now those of us in the fifth dimensional realm and higher cannot even see the third density any longer. We are aware it still exists for others, but we literally cannot see anything at all. It is gone. This occurs for all as they let go of the beliefs that kept them anchored there to start with. It is important to understand that once you awaken to there is something more, you become a seeker. Most go on a rampage gathering a barrage of information trying to make sense of it all, and that's what I did. This is very important space as well. It is an activation, a gathering of that which you will use later when you expand as your higher self and split into two beings inside your body. This is also where duality, shadow cells, and the denseness that we all hid from inside emerges as well. Your soul starts to awaken, and this is a whole new ball game in itself. No one is ever fully just in one realm. One might be unconscious, but all have a heart. It may be blocked, walled up, and buried under blackened soot, but it is there, and it is this tiny spark of light that ignites when the soul is ready to awaken, expand, and emerge. Hold on to your energetic britches, because reality is about to go completely sideways, backwards, inside out, and in reverse. It will be so twisted that you will question your own sanity many times along the way. Crazy is the new reality for unicorns and magic do exist here. Additional realms may be mentioned when it feels appropriate to do so. We would be remiss in not addressing these most exquisite realms beyond the fifth dimension, for they hold the memories that one has forgotten in veiled, separated human form. A dimension is a frequency, a realm, a way of being, which dimensional realm one exists in will depend on the frequency that they are operating at any given time. Time is but a separation, so in order to understand this, one must transcend the limits of time to see from multiple dimensional realms as a space that is occupied rather than a place to be. From this view, one's existence no longer spans months, years, or even lifetimes. One maneuvers dimensions by way of switching frequencies, therefore transcending the limits of human time. Now there will come a time when separation of dimensions no longer matters. They are no longer separated because technically they do not exist either. They were separated so that one could come to understand them to transcend them, to no longer need to see them separately. Remember, separation is a human creation. When you release this human need to separate, you will no longer care either. No one is ever fully in any one dimensional realm, yet instead all are existent in all realms at all times. This is where multidimensional comes from. At first, the human realm is the only one visible for visibility from the higher realms is dependent on how expanded and unified one has become inside. As one expands inside, they open portals to an unlimited number of dimensions and realms, each realm a different vibrational frequency. One comes to embody that realms as they release the human aspect that blocked that access to it. Each release further opens these realms until one comes to fully have access again inside at all times. As one expands, one gets to choose the realms that they prefer to exist in. Human was a lower realm. 
As one transcends the lower realms, human goes too. Eventually, human is no longer visible. The memories quickly fading, the experience ceases to exist. One perceives that out there is changing when in truth, all have come to exist from within again. Expand your perceptions and get as expansive as you can. The more you do, the more all of this will make sense. You are in every moment shifting. You exist in all spaces, all times, all places at once simultaneously. The further you fell, the further you separated, the more unconscious you became. It is through consciousness that you get to participate in shifting by raising your own vibrational frequency and therefore ascending again. This you can do at will, yet in the beginning it is a challenge and is beyond your human comprehension. The more one practices or chooses, the more this becomes an art. Then eventually it becomes your remembered natural state. For you do not try to do this, you just remember through the amount of light that you activate and hold within you. Dimensions are but a vibrational frequency. You are but many vibrational frequencies, an energy form transmitted by way of light. If a dimension is a frequency and you are a frequency, what does that make you? Intentional shifting means that you have chosen to be present and to exist in your heart instead of your human thinking mind. Separation exists in the limited human mind. To bypass this separation, one must intentionally choose to shift and exist in their heart. Until you exist in alchemy in order to create your reality, you must challenge the reality that you have until you do not believe it anymore. You must dissect the reality in your mind. Look at your human aspect and see it backwards, opposite in reverse. Find the most expanded perspective that you can in order to see things as they truly are from within. If you wish to exist beyond human, you must go beyond human in order to come to exist again, for you are a human star being here. For a time, there is too much human emotional energy and memories blocking this. The human sees this as uncomfortable, yet the discomfort is the purpose, for when one embraces the discomfort, one creates the ability to transcend that which is not true. The human mind is created and fear exists in the human mind DNA. Therefore, this is an untruth that one has to come to believe in order to have this human experience. Dissolving the fear requires stepping into it to see that it is not real. The more that one chooses to do this, the easier this becomes. Fear becomes another energy easily bypassed when one chooses to shift out of it and into their heart again. When you exist in love and light, you exist in your remembered state. To the human, these things are new, magical, and beyond the physical, for in a way they are, as the lower realm human aspect is not capable of such things. Only in releasing the human aspect can one come to exist as this again, for they have forgotten themselves to truly be an energetic being of light. The human will see the fifth dimensional reality realm as a new creation. The light being understands that this is what has always been, yet was just forgotten of how to be. The light being understands that they are remembering and just coming to be again. Until the fifth dimensional realm exists as one's new reality in totality, then one must choose which dimension to exist in. Where one does not consciously choose, one will get the reality that is transmitted by a way of one's unconscious frequencies within. This will continue to occur until one remembers that they actually already exist here. One must also consciously choose to let go of the old realm version of their being, all that existed there as a result of this being and all that was created of a lower realm, third or fourth, that exists of a lower frequency no longer compatible with their fifth dimensional existence. On one's journey remembering, one will constantly have to choose. It is the path that one chooses that determines one's experience here. One will choose safe, the human way of fear, or one will choose to listen to their heart, the way of the higher self. When one chooses safe or fear, 
then a lesson or experience to learn is necessary. We call this the scenic route. One must see more to prove that a different route is necessary in order to align with. When one chooses the subtle guidance of the higher self, then one chooses the direct path vibrationally to transcend the energy through love, light, honor, and integrity from within. Where one chooses not to listen to the subtle guidance along the way, then one starts to get minor adjustments to their realities that attempt to reroute the unconscious being. When one still ignores these, then a major adjustment is necessary. This is a removal of something tangible or that one holds dear to their human existence. Where one places more value on something over their journey or that of another living thing, these things are considered obstacles and must be removed in order to shift one into alignment with their higher self path. All shall be tested constantly to see which version of a reality they believe in. Every tool that one has in their awareness will need to be in place. Presence, awareness, and conscious choice will be imperative for all who desire to exist in a remembered reality of creation, magic, bliss, peace, and love again. So say this with me. I will continually be tested to see which reality I truly believe, the reality I come to believe in my head or the one I hold within my heart. My new reality is one remembered, believed, and created from within me. I can listen in my head or I can honor my heart. One is true and one is not. The reality I get will be the one I believe at any given time. If I need to remember, I can just close my eyes and tune into my heart. Here, the human thoughts are silent or more visible and allowed to fall away. My soul and inner voice holds my truth and emerges from the silence within. In order to talk about navigating dimensions, we must talk about the void spaces between dimensional shifts. Here, we feel like a brain-dead zombie. Energy does not move. Thought is just non-existent. Any work or doing at all is not possible, and inspiration, well, that is a huge joke. You have probably just gone through a huge internal fight where your thought energy was rampant and out of control. Your attempt to observe might have produced much for you to see, or it may not have even got off the launch pad. You might have gone kaput from the get-go. It doesn't matter, for each void will be different, get shorter and shorter in duration and until they are not visible at all. In the beginning, these lasted for years upon years for some inhuman time, while days at a time for others. These are labeled by the human as depression or lack of life or no zest, no luster, hiding from the outside world, and downright never-ending sleep. I'm not talking about the void that we go into in meditation, which is really a letting go of our identity and our attachments. I'm talking about the void spaces between dimensional sh shifts. Void spaces are imperative on this journey. You are shifting internally from one dimension to another. The length of time will be indicative of the moment of separation within your soul from remembering your true self as source again. Where there is much separation within, these seem to last forever. Where one is doing much inner work or has less human density, these move faster as time is perceived to be. There is a space between dimensions called voids, the null zone. Label it what you like, for it does not matter, as the purpose are many, and the variations are too. These are necessary along the journey of evolving dimensional traveler. You are placed into this void space while the old human reality moves out. You are being prepared for shifting and moving again. Looking at the spiral of energy, the Merkaba spin, your energy is being reversed from the old human way comes to a halt and then the spin begins again but in the opposite direction than it was before when it was of a lower vibrational realm. Judging the void only causes additional misery for while still human, there are one step short of eternal suffering. The only place that we suffer more is when our human mind goes bonkers and takes over and creates more of a physical mess for us to then shift back through again. This is a very important place to be. Understanding then allows you to ask for them to pass and then do what assists you in passing the discomfort with greater ease. I can share some of mine that I can remember for each one was different. 
I had to pick something that would occupy my non-existent mind while not creating more for me to have to deal with after. Sometimes I had to physically get up and go move the energy. I would shower and go out and do something different, something kind for another. This opened my heart quickly, no matter what space I was in. Other times I was just going to bed, covered my head with pillows, screamed out loud to release the discomfort of it all, and laid there looking at a wall. These were times I allowed myself to watch movies or programs, always something light, inspirational, and heart-expanding like Avatar or Touch or Fringe or Wayne Dyer or Soul Sunday or Eat, Pray, Love or something crazy like that. It doesn't matter whatever feeds your heart and allows you to zone out with no thoughts present at all while not introducing the old programming back in. Usually I would not pay attention, but the distraction of absent noise was what I needed more than anything. It seems just a place to be with less discomfort present while nothingness passed, for we do what we need to do at any given time. Other times I would go into review mode and see everything that had recently occurred. I would just lay in bed or walk in nature and observe. Sometimes this took too much energy, so I would resort back to the bed for some non-interactive anything. As vibrations rise fast, these will be coming faster and faster as you clear dense thoughts and more. This is a very important space to be in, and when you have been here long enough, the energy will shift. You will awake with new energy and new purpose. Appreciate this new space, for this is where you shall come to exist at all times again. The higher you vibrate, the more you will actually feel time slow down and come to a halt. Eventually, you'll be aware of time energy reversing and going the other way. You are moving further into a a state of remembering here. This reverse spin is your Merkaba activating further. Once you've totally reversed your reality from human to your remembered self, voids will cease to exist. Here you will be walking, moving, and traveling with an activated Merkaba and in a space where humans do not exist. Voids no longer do either. At least, not at any that you will care about, for these spaces allow you to expand further each time. A void can also occur after a huge period of expended human thought energy. Your human brain went into overload, drove you crazy, expended tons of energy, and now it does not work while you are being shifted by your higher self to your heart once enough time in the void has occurred. Your old human you is dying so that it can be integrated within as a part of the whole again. This is magnificent. So very uncomfortable, but hugely awesome. Eventually voids are a blip, while all shifts to reverse. A few moments and we are spinning in the opposite direction and unifying again. You, as human light beings, are the projector of your own reality. All realms, absolutely all of them, come to exist within you first and then out there. The higher realms are accessible by opening portals as you increase in vibrational frequency. You then expand these open pockets of space from inside of you until you believe them and hold the frequency long enough for out there to come to materialize for you to actually physically see and exist in again. Your own DNA activates further as you open your heart while simultaneously your heart opens and activates your DNA. Your realities and consciousness expand as a part of the circle and spiral thingy again. It is not one thing, but all things occurring simultaneously. It is the human that puts things into a box needing an order as how all things occur. The lower realms also exist solely inside of you. Imagine a small version of your entire life inside of you and then expanded version of the exact same thing out there. One is visible by way of an internal viewer and the other by way of physically walking through it and interacting as if you are in the play rather than watching it inside. One version gives you the powers of observation, stretching your mind, clearing, releasing, and shifting into a higher frequency by watching the show in slow motion inside. The other gives you an actual physical tangible experience that you can touch, feel, and participate in with your human body in order to observe, stretch, clear, release, and shift. One cuts out the outside interferences and lends clarity. The other has the chaos of the outside world thrown in for you to have to have stronger powers or abilities in order to work to transcend. Now as humans, 
We all originally chose an outer world experience. Our human minds blocked off limited and small, yet as our own light activations began in this ascension process, new DNA was activated. New pathways in our human minds were magnified and opened, and the higher realm, higher self viewer was activated from within. Now your job, if you will, was to learn to utilize this new viewer by going within to see what you could not see while participating and existing in your outside world. It gave you a place with no distractions to weed through the truths and untruths according to your own internal guidance systems instead of the human one you were used to. It gave you the opportunity to choose to let go of the old realms inside of you instead of needing an actual experience in the expanded physical world reality version out there. Yet the human says, I need a physical experience. I need tangible. I need an adjustment or something removed, actual proof in order to get me to understand. For I do not like what I feel, see, and I do not wish to honor the feelings inside, for that is not enough for me. I need something stronger to get my attention in order for me to let go of separation inside, brought to me by a way of an actual physical experience out there. And it is poof, like magic. We get what we ask for. We are creators of our own reality, first inside and then out there. Imagine each realm existing in a mini Merkaba inside of each of us, and inside is access to each realm out there. As we go inside and release, transcend the lower realms, we let go of them. As the untruths that they were, we come to choose to let go of the anchors that held us stuck in the expanded version of the lower realms and our light body Merkaba spins faster, therefore expanding the other realms that exist inside of us to be a part of us again. Now these realms, these mini Merkabas, these pockets inside are portals and gateways to the higher realms. As each one is activated, it starts to expand. The light activations give you access, for they have been locked away inside of you all this time. You held the key to unlock them by letting go of the old human that existed and kept you blocked from them to start with. Each time you open your heart and let go of the old human way, the old human limiting belief system, the old human separation, you unlock these pockets, spaces, realms, mini Merkabas within. As you unlock them, much of the time music or a song will be activated to let you know these have been accessed or are present until you fully exist as them from inside again. The kicker is these realms cannot expand until you believe them and come to hold the frequency of them inside. So until you are given a glimpse of what is accessible in them by a way of quick experience to stretch your human mind and allow you time to go inside and reach the frequency of them again, you then as humans needed time as separate as you were inside to adjust your human mind to comprehend these things as even a possibility. When there is much focus on an external reality, there is also more separation of time, where one has released much separation and operates at an overall unified frequency of light, a faster spin, the less separation exists within, the more they live from within. It is this existence from within that allows you to be a creator again but not by way of creating new, but by way of existing as you remember inside from your heart as you have always truly been. The more you release, the faster you spin. The more mini Merkabas and portals and realms and gateways and pockets and spaces you open and expand. And as you vibrate higher, as you unify inside, therefore so does out there. And as this occurs, each realm or mini Merkaba starts to expand from within. It continues with each expansion within until it is so large that you actually walk and exist from inside your own Merkaba where the bubble is no longer a little mini realm but now an entire realm that you walk in and exist as again. Your Merkaba, your own vehicle of unified light that expands to connect with and as all that is starts out as a little spot, a space, a pocket for you to explore from within. Simultaneously, the lower realms that existed inside of you continue to dissolve and dissipate within. As they do, they also do so out there 
for out there is the expanded version of those realms that you have always held within. How you experience your journey is entirely up to you as you become conscious, present, and aware and allow yourself to expand as your higher self. You have choice of how you experience the release of these lower realms. If you choose to go within, you have direct access views. Now for a while, this will be confusing for there is so much and your human mind cannot comprehend everything that it sees. It thinks that it is a dream, other realities, other places, experiences, or memories of another time. It seeks to understand where it is a playing version of something you have yet to remember or see. Absolutely everything you can see both inside and out there is a memory of something, somewhere, some existence you have been. You are seeing them because it is time for them to go as all is dismantled, collapse, come forth and merges as one time now within. Some you will embrace as rememberings and new knowledge or realities and bring them forth in your reality here. Where there are emotions to transcend, you will need to acknowledge these and allow them to be released as well. Humans will get stuck in them, while the higher self-being will observe and just allow them to integrate. Where this discordant human energy is strong, it may take an actual physical response to assist the energy in releasing from your physical existence, being vessel and suit. This can allow for energetic blockages to be released. Anything that has been held in your physical must also be integrated if it does not hold the vibration of love, which is your version of you that already exists in these higher realms. Now each portal, pocket, space, or merkaba that you access and expand out from within holds this higher vibration already and becomes a part of you as you vibrate higher again. Eventually, these mini merkabas are no longer mini, but have expanded for you to actually exist as again. This is how you walk from realm to realm. You don't go anywhere, for you are already here. You just expand as these realms from within. The realms all exist inside of you, and it is up to you to choose to go in. In is where all is activated. In is where all begins. Even your very human outside world existed first inside of you. The only difference was your viewer, your visibility, your own vibrational frequency you had limited yourself to. Your human mind expanded and these pathways and gateways opened simultaneously in your physical for you to be able to see again. At first you were limited by the small human mind, yet as you integrate these light activations and higher frequencies inside of you, new pathways to the entire universe are open for you to again see. Unification inside of you again is how you access this. Your blocks, your veils, your partitions you placed inside to block your own view. Your human experience, the one you needed and chose as perfect just for you. These transmitted from inside of you to create the hologram, the play inside the matrix that you chose for you. Now once you have released the barriers that existed in your own human mind, your heart will expand to be your entire existence. Not just the human heart you thought existed of inside of you. You are a walking heart, a walking light being, a walking everything that is all that is. You are source your own creator unified as one again. You were never separate. You just thought that you were. That thought was of a lower vibrational frequency that does not exist in these higher realms. You shall come to exist again as all realms from inside of you, then they shall also emerge to no longer be separated realms either. For all realms are one, all spaces the same. The version of your reality is the one you project from within. The higher you vibrate, the faster you spin, the easier it is to move realm to realm from within. As you master this from inside, then moving between realms becomes possible out there. You no longer need to move, for you have expanded them as your reality. And all you need to shift in frequency and change frequency of your entire being to move between them instantly here. This is what you have forgotten and locked deep inside of you. 
This, you remember by letting go of separation and limiting beliefs of how anything is, which was the lower realm, the old human way. If you desire to exist in all realms again, you are the only one that can do this, and you do this by going within. Out there is your projection, so if you wish to change the frequency of the transmission, you must go inside and expand so that you can see there is another option. Your heart is how you shift frequencies, for your human mind does not have the ability to do this. Your heart, your universal mind, your own energy connected as one, again gives you the ability to drive your Merkaba, steer your ship, navigate your vessel, and eventually exist at all realms at one time again. Once you've existed of and as these realms long enough inside, then they shall materialize out there for you to exist in to reside. The more realms you expand and become again, the more you have to choose from no longer limited to the reality of the human one that you thought was your only option. So the next time you see something weird that just could not be possible, yet it causes you to stop and think, no, it is but a memory. And if you desire to exist, it is up to you to go inside and expand what you believe. It is up to you to look for that to actually become reality again. Each time we acclimate to new frequencies of higher realms within us, we actually shift dimensionally without ever appearing to move from the spot we are in. We feel the same, we look the same, but things are somehow a bit different. As we start to walk in the lucid dream, the only difference between the dimensional realms we exist in is the amount of light or density that we hold. The more light, the more expansive, the more expansive, the more realms one can occupy at any given time. As you shift in consciousness and frequency, you are not the same version of you that you were before. With each vibrational activation and integration, you are a newer and lighter version of you. Your entire molecular structure is changing in every moment that you exist. Which dimensional version of you that you get will be the one that you consciously choose from within? As you let go of the old human realities, your physical inside and out are restructuring in light particles without the denseness that once was. You need not do anything. You only have to let go, sleep, believe, honor your heart, expand your view, and choose a higher vibration in every moment. How your physical body will feel this will be relative to your own DNA, cellular makeup, and the ratio of light and dense particles at any given time. In the higher realms, density continues to dissolve. One expedites molecular restructuring at a super high rate. For as density goes, we do literally lighten and hit a point where we are going crystalline and becoming human star beings here. Physical realities become more bendable, flexible, and just continue to reshape in particle form. Particle materialization solidifies what used to be a dream. This is now visible and tangible and tuning and shaping and reshaping is how we do things here. It is real here on new earth now. Now there are three specific times that I'm aware of where breathing is affected by dimensional shifts. These come from my own experiences and observations over the years. Third dimensional fear. One is when light has been activated and fear is being pushed up and out for release. This is the unconscious human that will think panic attack and breathing will be affected by this. Breathing through it, shift back to your heart and observe the fear for the untruth that it is. For extreme experiences, do what you need to get through. Afterwards, go into observation mode and see what you can see. You're just trying to purge human density here. Assist it. Do not fear it. Your soul is trying to emerge. This will occur to show you where separation exists within. Fourth dimensional dissension. The second is when you allow yourself to drop in frequency to a lower dimensional version of us, therefore descending again. This will happen repeatedly until we no longer allow this to occur anymore and fully ascend inside. The more we allow this, the harder breathing will become, for we will feel like we are being suppressed. 
This is a sign that we need to shift and let go of whatever that is. Go inside and come to peace again. And then out there comes into alignment after all. Breathing will actually get hard. Go outside in nature as Gaia and the universe hold frequencies to assist you in retuning again. Again, you are transcending duality and density within. Usually there is an old deep seat feeling remnant that has been suppressed and needing to go. We can't take these with us as we enter the fifth dimensional realm. This will occur repeatedly until all separation is gone. The fifth dimensional vortex or Obertron. Later breathing will compress substantially as you go to leave and move between old earth and new earth and continue to walk in the higher realms. Your suit, vessel, carrier, garment will completely start to decompress like you are being placed in a decompression chamber. Sound will go and your head will feel like it's in a vice grip. In a way you are. You're about to go through a vortex, a black hole, and come out in another dimensional version of the same place that you are now. Your human mind cannot see the changes unless you are aware that this is occurring and you look for the subtle differences all around you. This is your version of teleporting where particle matter reshapes to shift you between worlds and realities and eventually other galaxies and more. There are no feelings here, just awareness that something huge is going on. Sometimes it feels like you're underwater and in a way you are. When your frequencies are high enough, out there will appear for you to see what has truly been going on. Here your vessel is actually moving dimensionally and particles are being rearranged for this. Your entire body is restructuring in particle form to come out on the other side of the vortex. In my experience thus far, this can last up to a couple of hours. I've been awake much of the time this has occurred. Often I am in town and around others and the experience is pretty profound. I know I'm not in the same reality that I was before the dimensional shift occurred. I look for the tiny differences and they are there if you really look. Don't freak out. Things will be different in some subtle way and new is allowed to come forth. This occurs when you are unified and shifting dimensions already at will. You, we are being prepared for galactic crossings with these. Now I'm sure this will change as we go for we are ever experiencing new every day. This is a guide for you to see what you see and to go from there. So much of this is partially channeled and coming from a different place. I'll be interested to go back and listen to what I have said. But the point is there are many dimensions that we can travel through and within. And it's all about what's happening within us. And to understand navigating dimensions, you must understand that you only travel through these dimensions within your own light body. When you come to understand this, you come to understand the science of reality creation and so much more. It is a part of the awakening, the ascension process, and you are in the middle of it, moving towards that new earth, that new dimension that is available to you now. You can find all episodes of The Reality Revolution at therealityrevolution.com, sending you all my love and light, and welcome to The Reality Revolution. Thank you.